Welcome back to Much On Demand. The album of the fame is out in stores now. Please welcome Lady Gaga. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Have a seat. How are you doing? I, I love. Hello, uh, everybody. Can we talk about the outfit? I was watching you in sound check. Oh, Just thank you. Looking good. I like the tights. I made it. No, you did not. I did. Are you being serious? Mm -hmm. How the heck did you make that? With a needle and thread. <laughs> Have you been making clothes or your outfits for a long time? Uh, yeah, for a while. Uh, I've been uh, designing and, uh, you know, I used to like really, really hand make stuff mm -hmm. um, in New York City. And now, uh, you know, I design stuff and I'm kind of joking. I actually design it and then have people make it for me. So. But still, that's good. At least you design it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really cool that you're part of all the create, you know, all the creativity the that creativity. has to do with your career. Yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? They're excited. Yeah. What are your fans now, I saw you first perform on the Miss Universe pageant, yeah. which was a couple months ago. Uh -huh. And I hadn't heard much about you and I saw you and I was like, okay. And now, since then, you've just blown up. Yeah, a lot has happened. <laughs> in it's such been a really... short period of time. Yeah. Um, it, you know, it's incredible. It was amazing to be in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. That was the first broadcast in Vietnam since the war. So amazing experience. And uh, it's been a whirlwind. And I have to thank Canada because you guys were the first to pick up this record. Mm -hmm. And you actually, on the back of the liner notes, you wrote the back. Were you, did you write that when you were there? I did it when I was there, yeah. Wow. And um, we had to actually rush produce um, the album because you guys wanted it so much sooner than everybody else did. It's not even out in the States yet. No, it's nowhere. It's nowhere but here. That is crazy. And it's number one. Yay for all your fans. That's really great, though. Congratulations on all the success. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to read a little quote. Great. You can tell me if it's true or not. Okay. I really like it, oh, though. Sorry. sorry, so I kicked you. I kicked you. Okay. I love men. I love women. I love sex. Yeah. <laughs> That is a quote. And did you say it? <laughs> yes. Yes. No, I like it. It's good. Might yeah. as well be honest, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. So what do you think about songs nowadays like Katy Perry's I Kissed a Girl? Do you like that song? Um, I don't think she's kissed a girl. I don't think she has either. <laughs> I agree. So if you have, you might as well sing about it. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I don't really think anything about it, to be mm -hmm. perfectly honest. Um, I'm a a big fan of um, all kinds of music mm -hmm. and uh, uh, pop records, uh, but um, I don't really write my records to channel the gay community. I just um, am who I am, and mm -hmm. my fans are my fans, and I love everybody. So yeah, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. That. Now talking about that and talking about relationships, can, do you have time? Can you make time? How does it work for you? I'm married to my work. <laughs> No, I, I, I don't, uh, I actually don't really want to be in a relationship. Uh, I, I love what I do, and I, I work 24 hours a day. I never stop. I sleep, like, three hours a night. Really? Yeah, for How sure. How do you have so much energy to dance around like you do? Because, hello, I think it's, like, a very <laughs> small price to play. You know, sleep, number one record, right? Yeah, okay. I think the Who number cares? one record sounds better, right? You can sleep when you're older. I, I, I'll sleep when when I want to sleep, you know? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I just, I want to be awake for this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, talking about the dancing, I was watching you in Soundcheck. You're really great at performing. Thank you. It gets different than most people, like, and you sing live. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Have you always been such a, like, when you were a little girl, were you always dancing around the house? Or? Oh, my gosh, all the time, yeah, for sure. I was um, just always performing like crazy, mm -hmm. just always. And uh, I don't know. Uh, it's funny, I was uh, with the girls, Dina and Coco are my my crew yeah and um we were shooting the beautiful dirty rich video for dirty sexy money and i looked over at them when we were on the set because i was like screaming at the director and i was like get this angle we gotta get it this way and i turned to them and i said man i'm such a pain in the ass but i'm so meant to do this mm -hmm. like this is so exactly where i'm supposed to be and i really i can't thank you guys enough because i would not be here without you but I think it's really important for you because you're, you're a young girl and it's good that you're in charge, you know, creatively. Yeah, I mean, I'm 22 years old and, you know, it's always hard finding directors because they're like, she wants full creative control of her video. And that's just who I am. You know, mm -hmm. that's what I want to do. And uh, um, it's okay. It's okay to be different. And, and you'll be happy in the end because it's what you wanted. Yeah, I mean, 
if anything, it's like I'm not some blonde chick in, in pantyhose who has no opinion, you know? Mm -hmm. I've got a real opinion about what I do. And um, I think it shows because today and, you know, yesterday, the, the record is, is selling. The mm -hmm. album is selling. There's a ton of singles that are number one for weeks, and the album doesn't sell. And all that tells me is that you guys want to hear what I have to say. So thank you. They want really to hear more. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we have an audience member who wants, wants to hear what you want to say. We have Clarissa. Clarissa, what's your question for Lady Gaga? When did you start performing? Uh, when I was very, very little. Uh, I did my first play when I was six. I was in the, the Three Billy Goats Gruff in, <laughs> in, in uh, elementary school. But I really started like, gigging out in New York City when I was 14. That's pretty young. Yeah. I was, my parents didn't realize then how great it was because they were like, you know, stay home, mm -hmm. do your homework. Uh, but uh, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't stay off the stage. But you obviously knew what you wanted to do at a young age, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I guess. I never even really thought about it. I just always, always performed. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have another question. This is a webcam question from Amy in Kitchener, Ontario. Amy, Hi, what Amy. would you like to ask? Hi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. There she is. <laughs> so my question is, is there a song that makes you want to just dance? A song that makes me want to just dance? I would have to say Thriller. That's a good one. That song makes me want to dance. Thank you for your question, Amy. Thank you. Thank you. And that's one of the best videos. What? Oh my gosh. That video, yeah. when, I always talk about that video when we do every video, and it's actually a joke that everybody uh, says to me when we're working on projects, like the house gets together and we're, you know, coming up with ideas and I'm writing down, you know, like pages and pages of mm -hmm. notes and like going crazy. And they're like, come on, Gaga, what is this, Thriller? I'm like, you, you damn right it is. <laughs> Might as well. He's I want the every video. Did you guys, I don't know if you saw like the short film that I shot. The yes, it was online. Mm -hmm. But um, I actually did that um, on my own and I tried to pass it off to the label like I did it over the weekend, even though I spent like months planning it. <laughs> I'm like, hey guys, like check what I did with a you know really cool camera, which is like this really amazing new technology that we found. But uh, that was my thriller. You know, that was my chance to make a short film mm -hmm. that was uh, completely my ideas and completely new. And uh, I love it. I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of it. And it's funny because people always write on uh, YouTube like, why is she speaking French? And I do speak French, um, but the reason that I did it was because I wanted to kind of um, posture the idea that pop music feels very foreign today. And what I'm doing feels very like foreign and, and different mm -hmm. and, and new, but that's okay. It's still pop. It's still good. Yeah. Right? Okay, now your fans have been waiting outside, oh. screaming, freaking out. Can, Can I, I go, go say hi? Yeah, okay. come on. Question out here from Michelle. Michelle, what's your question for Lady Gaga? Since you're from New York, how's that been an inspiration for you? Oh, it's ins inspired me in every single way. I mean, I actually live in uh, LA now. I go back and forth. Mm -hmm. And no offense to LA, but the street fashion is wah, wah. <laughs> and the fashion in New York is crazy. So it's mostly been the lifestyle and just the people on the streets living the life. Thank you for your Thank question. You. Okay, so coming up, you're going to be performing live. You yeah. got a couple cool things planned yeah. for us. So don't change the channel. Don't go anywhere. Right now, we're going to check out the number three video. Here's some Coldplay. More coming up with Lady Gaga. Hey, guys. Thank you.